All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic data structures, modify an array stored in an object. All right. So now we've seen all the basic operations for JavaScript objects. We can add, modify, remove key value pairs, check if keys exist, and iterate all over the keys in an object, all right? So as we continue learning JavaScript, we will see even more versatile applications of objects. Additionally, the data structures lessons located in the coding interview prep section, that's like, like literally two years off for real. I mean, at the pace I'm going, just letting you know. Uh, section of the curriculum also cover the ES6 map and set objects, both of which are similar to ordinary objects, but provide some additional features, all right? So now that we've learned the basics of arrays and objects, we're fully prepared to begin tackling more complex problems using JavaScript, all right. So we're gonna take a look at the object that has been provided to us in the code editor, this one right here. Uh, the user object contains three keys. The data key contains five keys, all right, so three keys, one, two, three. The data key contains five, one, two, three, four, and five. And one of which contains an array of friends, this one right here, right? Uh, from this, we can add, we can, pardon me, see how flexible objects are as data structures. So we've started writing a function add friend and we're gonna finish writing it so that it takes a user object and it adds the name of the friend argument to the array stored in user.data.friends and returns that array. All right. So basically what we're gonna do is finish writing it so that it takes a user object and it adds the name of the friend argument to the array stored in this, all right? So basically we're gonna be adding Pete to this using this function, okay? So let's come over here and we're going to access, let's just do a return on this. No, 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 we're not gonna return anything else. What we're gonna do is say uh, user object. So user object would be user. Okay, so let's say user object like that uh, dot data dot friends, okay? Dot data dot friends dot friends uh, now equals friend like that, okay? So like user is being passed in as the user object. So user object user dot data dot friends. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is return this friend. So what we're gonna say is a return, what are we doing? We're going to add the name and return the array, okay? So we're gonna say return user obj dot data dot friends. Like that. No, 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 that can't be right. That can't be right. User dot, oh, no, 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 this is an array. So let's say dot push friend. Ah, ha, 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 there we go. Okay, so we pushed Pete onto, in, onto the end of this array right here by accessing it like this, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you. And you saw how I messed up and how it turned into something good after that. So we could say Pete, we could say uh, Jorge, we could say, uh, is Sarah already in there? No, Sarah. And it would put whatever we wanted, right? So Pete, there we go. And so let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. And so that's the end of basic data structures. Now we're on to this one. This is the one I've been thinking about for the past year. And I'll tell you why in the introduction. But now we're on to basic algorithm scripting and we'll see you next time.